began to talk to you a little bit about uh, a new tool I got. This thing's awesome. Uh, I, I like to carve with hand tools, I'm kind of a traditionalist. I use knives and gouges. But uh, sometimes when I'm roughing out, I got a gnome here I'm starting, and it's in a big block form, and it's always kind of uncomfortable. And I find that it's hard to get a good grip on it sometimes. And when I'm roughing out with a knife or a gouge, uh, even wearing gloves and protective things, I sometimes get cut. Um, and sometimes I'm doing so much carving uh, in, a, in a tense period, I uh, my hands get a little tired. <clears throat> And uh, so I started looking into, I got intrigued by the Fordham uh, handle that has a reciprocating uh, chisels on the end. It just replaces your existing handset. You just put it on. And uh, I got one that had, came with six tools. Here's a little V tool on this one. Uh, here's a little vayner, pretty small, about an eighth inch. There's a small, maybe three eighths uh, gouge. That's probably a number three or I think it's a five. This is a, this is a three, very shallow, and then there's a flat one, and then there's a skew. And those would be great for detail work, but I started looking into whether I could get bigger ones, and, and they, they come to as, as large as one inch. Here's a one inch gouge by comparison. So you can just see how much bigger that is than the, uh, the little one that comes with it. So that'll be interesting in there. And I also got a larger vayner, which is 9 16th, uh, I'm sorry, V-tool. <coughs> So uh, let me show you a little bit how this thing works. So the, uh, when you read about the tool, it recommends that you use the fixed speed uh, to, to operate a little bit better. But I have the variable speed. I have the foot pedal on the uh, table model of the uh, SR Fordham. And it seems to work fine. Uh, the instructions say 1,000 to 8,000 RPMs. The foot, the, the uh, head of the Fordham goes up to 18,000. So I would not floor it in this case. But what I found is that, that by just, you know, kind of feeling it, you know, as I go, uh, I can pretty well lock into a, uh, a productive speed. And what I really like about this is that uh, the tool itself is going to be sharp. So you could actually carve with this just by itself. So, which is pretty good, but uh, let's say your hands are a little sore or you're just in a, sometimes you're just in a place where you don't want to have to push too hard. Uh, that's what I like about it. Uh, the way it works is that when you depress the tool, when you push in this part here, and that pushes in, it engages the clutch and then it vibrates and, and reciprocates and does the cutting. So we turn that on. It's a little noisy, it's a little noisier than working without anything, but Nothing happens. So you could literally cut your finger. I don't recommend it, but uh, it wouldn't do anything. And still you push. Once you start pushing, then you can see. So here's a spot where uh, I want to rough out the ear, and that would be a little tricky. So I want to just get in there with, and I can really control it. I'm not pushing much at all. So my effort is very little. So if you're a guy with, you know, you have a little arthritis or something, I mean, this would be a great tool. And I don't see that it's, if you're a traditional carver and you want to stay with hand tools and not use machines, you know, I have a lot of uh, abrasive wheels and grinders and points and all that kind of stuff that you, I could use uh, abrasively with this. But I don't really like the way that looks. I like the tool uh, marks on there. And this is still, you're still carving, you know. So this, I'm looking forward to the larger uh, V-tool to really rough out. So particularly when you're on the edge here and you're going off, uh, it's, it's harder to control a uh, tool by hand. And then I still take my hand tools and go in and kind of quickly take out you know, the waste that, uh, that was there. So I have an ear going here. What I'll probably do is, is, is finish it off with this round so that I get the right shape on it you know, just traditional work on this thing. But uh, but this little guy is great. And, and what I really love about it is even if you set it down, this is not, uh, you know, vibrating. It's not going to cut stuff even if you step on the pedal. Nothing's happening there until you push down on this and engage it. So it's pretty safe. Still a sharp tool on the end of there. you got to treat it like a regular, uh, you know, any other tool. Um, came with a pretty good price. And the replacement, the larger ones, I, I'm getting a one inch, uh, I think a number five. So the B, see this is a seven. So a little less scoop than that. And 
I'm picking up uh, the V-tool also. So those two will be great for roughing out. They're only, I think, $14 a piece. So if you think of um, a regular flex cut tool with the handles that you have to replace the, uh, you know, swap in and out the, uh, the tips, it's, it's even more reasonable than that. So, and I can even imagine that if you wanted to get creative with a little grinding, you could, you could take this tip and make your own tips and they'd work fine. You really just have to have, you know, the proper dimensions here on this little tang. You need the little notch and then this, and the right thickness, it's about a sixteenth, to fit into your tool. It's real easy to change back and forth on your other Fordham tools if you, you just pull this out. Okay, and then you just snap in the other handle, so 